Hi there. In this video, I'll be talking about relationships. Now, don't panic. I'll be talking about relationships between variables. Here's part of a question from the 2015 CFE Higher paper. A student investigates how a radiance I varies with distance D from a point source of light. The distance between a small lamp and a light sensor is measured with a meter stick. The irradiance is measured with a light meter. The apparatus is set up as shown in a darkened laboratory. The following results are obtained. So, to carry out the investigation, after switching on the lamp, the light sensor is placed at a distance of 0.2 metres from the lamp, and the irradiance is measured with a light metre. This is then repeated for distances 0.3, 0.4 and 0.5 metres from the lamp. The first part of the question asks us to state what's meant by the term irradiance. Now this is a video on relationships, and we can use an equation from the relationships sheet to help with our definition of irradiance. I is equal to P divided by A allows us to calculate irradiance by dividing power in watts by area in metres squared. And we can use it to give us the definition of irradiance, which is the power per unit area, or power per square metre. Part B asks us to use all the data to establish the relationship between irradiance I and distance D. The important thing in this question is that we actually know the relationship, and again it's to be found in the relationship sheet. I is equal to K divided by D squared. So irradiance is equal to a constant divided by distance squared. If we multiply both sides by D squared, we get I times D squared is equal to a constant K. All we have to do then is to multiply irradiance by distance squared. We find that the values are very similar. The slight difference in the final value can be put down to the uncertainties in the values for irradiance and distance. The last thing we'd have to do then is to state a relationship. I times d squared is a constant. Here's another way of answering the same question. We'll start with the same equation. I is equal to k divided by d squared, which can also be written as I is equal to k times 1 over d squared. I is a constant times 1 over d squared. This means that irradiance I is directly proportional to 1 over distance squared. We can use this to plot a graph of i against 1 over d squared, but we obviously need to calculate 1 over d squared first. If you're looking to establish a relationship graphically, then it's important to draw your graph on the graph paper provided. A sketch graph won't be accepted. Once you've worked out your scale and labelled your axes, plot the points as accurately as possible. The best fit line should be a straight line through the origin, so we can conclude that i is directly proportional to 1 over d squared. Now, there is more to this question, but that's all I'm going to cover here. For more information on upcoming videos, summary sheets and so on, visit physics-podcast.co.uk. Thank you for listening.